Today, Kevin and I have three different brands of chips. Completely different chips. They're yeah. all uh, they're all meat. Meat, <laughs> yeah. We're bringing the meat today. Okay. So we have the specially selected pancetta and parmesan kettle chips. Then we have the rotisserie chicken Pringles. And is it Kiko? Kios. Kios. Kios crinkle cut a flame grill Irish steak. So the specially selected is an Aldi brand. These were a um, dollar eighty nine at Aldi. But you said you thought they were trying to get rid of it. There was only one more bag left. Okay, so, so I don't know if dollar eighty nine is the regular price or not. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to get them after today. <laughs> I don't, just don't know. Look for them next year. Well, um, well, summer's coming up, so you think they would have chips out for the summer. Right? Uh, the Pringles are the rotisserie chicken. They were a dollar ninety nine at Walgreens. And the uh, the flaming the flame grilled Irish steak is three ninety nine at World Market. Yeah, $3.99, but it was World Market, so World Market's expensive. So we're going to try the specially selected pancetta and parmesan kettle chips, a savory combination of sharp parmesan with subtle tones of smoked pancetta. Um, and it doesn't tell anything more specific about the flavor. It says there are seven servings in the container, one ounce, 28 grams, about 15 chips is 140 calories. And um, these are uh, distributed and sold exclusively for Aldi in Illinois. They're gluten free. Do they have a funky? No, they yeah. honestly no. Sometimes Parmesan it leaves me a little funky. I see a fold over. Mm. That tastes like a smoky ham. It does taste like a ham. Or maybe a little bacon like. That's good. That's very good. To me, that tastes like a ham that you put on a ham sandwich. Mm -hmm. But it's smoky. Mm -hmm. Almost like um, almost like a country ham. That's good. And I do get a little hit of the Parmesan. Yeah, if you've ever had like a country ham and eggs, minus all the salt, because country ham is very, very salty. Um, that tastes like country ham. That Those is so excellent. good. You could, you could crumble these up and put them in your scrambled eggs, mm -hmm. and it would be good. Good. <laughs> that would be so good. I wonder if anybody's ever done that. I'm, I'm thinking that would be really good with um, a cheeseburger or something like that for cooking. Oh yeah, those, those are seriously delicious. Are. And a lot of people put uh, potato chips on their sandwich to add some texture to mm -hmm. it. Would uh, those would be good on a ham sandwich with that cheese. That would be good. Mm -hmm. Add flavor in. Now, I didn't taste the Parmesan. I got a little hit after. Did you? Yeah. But that pancetta, it's delicious. Yeah, I got a little Parmesan in there. So I'm kind of scared of these because we've had chicken Pringles before. And they're usually sucky. And uh, I'm just, <laughs> I haven't been a fan of them, but you never know. I'm keeping an open mind. They're 150 calories for 15 crisps, so uh, about 10 calories a piece. That's the normal for a Pringles. Um, and I always turn mine this way so that it's- Lay on your tongue. Lays on it, yeah. Manufactured in Jackson, Tennessee. That's not bad. Actually, I like the flavor of this. Not bad at all. I know. And I still get the flavor, the underlying Pringle flavor. Mm -hmm. You got a little potato. There's a classic, yeah, potato Pringle flavor. If you've ever smelled like a chicken bouillon cube, like you made the bouillon dissolved in, in a hot water, that's kind of what that tastes like, is that smell. These are actually really good. They're good. They do not have the funkiness, that's the best way I can say it, of other chicken Pringles that we've had. Yeah. Um, I it's think good. those I think other ones- it's just ones, more of the seasoning in this one than anything. I'm thinking the other ones we had were from a foreign country though. I think they were like roasted chicken or- mm -hmm. uh, It was just, it was, it was just different. Yeah. It was, it was very strong, very meaty and just off- But not in a good way. <laughs> yeah, not in a good way. Uh, this is, is good meaty. Mm -hmm. This awesome. is, this, yeah, that's a very nice. I don't like them as much as the Parmesan ones. But... These I'm looking forward to the most yeah. because- That brand is so good. Yes, we have reviewed from Kios before. They're made in Ireland. And uh, so if you're curious, uh, just type in the name um, on my channel. Um, 
They're excellent potato chips. Um, so let's see if it says, it says the beef for our flame grilled steak is sourced from Irish farms. Uh, find out more about our suppliers on the Kios website. Um, it really doesn't say anything else about the, the flavor. Let's see. No, about the flavor specifically. It does say Spud Nav. Trace your crisp back to the field they came from. Just type the field name on the Spud Nav page of our website. So, on the, I think this is so cool with these, with these uh, Kios chips. They actually tell you the name of the field, the variety, cooked by, her name was Anita, and best before, and uh, they're produced in Ireland, of course, uh, but uh, that's cool. really neat, and it's www.kios.ie. Uh, a third of a cup, 28 grams is 140 calories. They're gluten-free, uh, lactose-free. <laughs> And these look different on the plate. So, uh, they, um, on the crinkle cut. A fold over with a curl. I definitely taste the grilled meat. I'll tell you what, they have a strong potato flavor though. They do, but the aftertaste like just don't eat another one and let flavor settle it tastes like the charred um like fatty part of the outside of a steak mm -hmm. no i like that it's yeah. very good because you, you love a good grilled I that do. charred part i um, do that's what that tastes like is that charred meat kind of flavor it all almost, the vegetarians out there are going ah i um, know we're probably not watching this video um it no, almost really tastes good. like um like if you ever uh, make your steak with butter on it, like Kevin's dad puts like a stick of butter on every steak before he puts it on the grill. Oh, like. uh, yeah, he pats that baby, like a baby's butt pats it. Um, but uh, yeah, it almost tastes like it has uh, butter in it. It's mm -hmm. just that there's a, there's a slick greasiness that's left in your mouth. Okay. And I don't mind it at all. I think it's good. Honestly, all three of these are very good for what they are. Yeah, um, the Pringles honestly are good, but they would still be in last place for me. If we were to put them in order. Because I think the texture of a Pringle is so much different than just a chip, mm -hmm. that the texture puts it in last place for me. Because mm -hmm. I like a good crunchy chip. It's so different going from that steak to I the pancetta. Um, it's just. Because I thought the pancetta was really, really strong. Mm -hmm. But you eat one after the steak and you're like, that's yeah, taste it, but it's not nearly as strong. It's not as strong. Um, no, that grilled steak is like in your face. I think the grilled steak would be my favorite. It would be mine too. But then the pancetta. Yep. 100%. And then the Pringles. Yep. But that's only because somebody had to come last. Because I really think they did a good job with these. Mm -hmm. So um, if you've had the chicken in the past from Pringles, and you didn't care for it, don't judge these by that other time. Mm. Because you might be like us and you might really, really like these. Cause um, you know, they're different. They, they truly are different. Yeah. But all of these are good. Definitely, uh, definitely worth eating any of these. Yeah, if you can get a hold of any of them. And World Market, um, if you watch our other Kios videos and they look interesting to you, World Market does sell them. So you're gonna pay more, you're gonna pay $3.99. Um, does Walmart sell Kios? Mm -hmm. no, Are you sure? sure? I don't, I mean, maybe they do, I don't know. Um, we have seen them uh, the, somewhere else, but I don't remember where it was at. Well, I know, I think originally, I may have bought them at Home Goods. Um, and Jungle Gems. And Jungle Gems. Yeah, I'm trying to think of where I've seen them. But it's a good brand. It really mm -hmm. is. Very good brand. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.